Edhan, young, 23 years old. He's got a bit of a reputation as a very good end-overs bowler, getting the new ball here. And start with a no ball. And he's boiled around in appeal, asking for the LBW, only to see the umpire's arm outstretched. And it's a free hit as well to Vinil Seba, first up. The crowd's getting excited. It'll be a packed house once they know that the play has started here. The rain, the crowd coming in late. A very good call. The inside of the line belongs to the umpire, so it's a good call. Been for a leg before, clearly missing leg. You can see all three stumps. Sevak doesn't get across. Right, free has a license to go for it. Not always does it go out of the ground. Mondas Menon thinks it's less than 10% of the times that a free hit produces a six. Right, where's it going to be? Two bounces allowed, remember. Well, fine, he'll go off the pad for two, maybe. I saw Irfan running when you're seven feet tall, you're not meant to run. That you after the bowling or over. A good one at that. Boulder made no first up. Irfan, a deep fine leg now. Must be difficult. I mean, we, can, we can't even imagine what it must be, obviously. But when you're seven foot one and you're running, I guess the body works out its own balance. Right, man outside the circle was at uh, long leg, so that will run away for India's first boundary. Poor delivery. Just three fielders on the leg side and string on the pads of Virendra Sevag. He's got his bottom hand into play, getting the elevation, clearing the man a square leg. A nice feeling to get off the mark on the boundary. He likes this particular ground, Virendra Sevag. He's got a triple hundred against South Africa here. At almost run about. Oh, that one comes back, hits him high on the pad. Strong appeal from Pakistan. Billy Bowden is unmoved, not shaken. The appeal, I thought, was for a caught behind. But uh, how close was that for a leg before? But hitting the top of the pad, clearly no bat involved. Again, good in-swinging delivery. Over in the Sevag. Hitting him high on the pad. So maybe the height factor. As far as the leg before goes. Very good appeal. Slip Gordon was very keen for a caught behind decision. Not to be. Up oh, all him! Lovely in dipper from Junaid Khan. He gets the batsman, he gets the big one. Sevag is gone for four and what a ball. No footwork, great movement. Junaid Khan hits the bullseye. We saw a couple of appeals for leg before where you could see all three stumps with Sevag's front leg being outside the line with leg stump. His pitch is in line and Sevag with the angle of the bat, he was looking to play behind square on the offside. It's an angle bat. So there was a big gap between the bat and pad and he's gone right through. That's a reward for some good bowling. Virenza Sivag has got to go. And India, 17 for 1. Virat Kohli is the new man in. Anxiously looking at the strip. Young, exciting, hugely talented. 91 matches and 13 ODI hundreds. Great record. Virat Kohli, 13 hundreds. Look at the strike rate. Look at the average. Phenomenal record. Oh, gets a good one. Great line from Junaid Khan. What a good over. It's a wicket maiden. Four gone, 17 for one. Oh, that's a good one. This was uh, the angle ball. Angle towards the slip cordon. Gotham Gambir was uh, foxed, befuddled by a ball that was pitched up. That front foot was going nowhere. He played across the line, was the uh, onside and paid the price. Nirfan adjusting beautifully, pitching it up. 
Gambit wasn't looking comfortable against Irfan right through this innings. Janet Khan was very good against Virendra Seba, getting the ball to move both ways. So, had the batsman thinking, you have to play or leave, and then got one to come back in. And Virendra Seba probably was playing for the away swinger, opening the face of the bat. And Timba, it was almost ready to leave the, uh, the crease there, very quickly off Seba, as if he's expecting this accident. Oh, that's a beautiful delivery. Three slips in place. He's making the batsman think about the outswinger, about the slip cordon. And what is it? does he do? He gets that one to curve back. Good thinking, intelligent bowling. Terrific seam position and good pace as well, Ramiz. 141. And he's getting the ball to boom both ways. Very good position of the seam and the ball coming back in. He's forced Virat Kohli to play at it. Just a little bit of bounce, the true bounce available in this pitch has taken it above the stumps. You can see that white dot, Sinead Khan to right-handers, with terrific links. Just the one yellow dot on the leg side, Sevak hitting a boundary. Oh, wow, 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 Sinead Khan, absolutely fantastic. Castles another batsman and this time Virat Kohli, who was in such great form, is gone. Courtesy, brute of a ball. Courtesy, brilliance from Junaid Khan. Because of the brilliant bowling, they did not need any support from the fielders with all the three dismissals. You see, all three of them bowled. And this one coming back in. A classical delivery. Isn't he a happy man? He's delighted. He's going through a great spell here, Junaid Khan. Virat Kohli, well, paying the price. You get a good delivery early in the innings. You don't mind that as a batsman. He's gone for a duck. India, 19 for three. Junaid Khan will continue his magical spell. Oh, and almost inside edge. What's happening, India? Not assured of the uh, of the footwork. Rohit Sharma gets off the mark. Nervous start. There's been some great bowling, outstanding bowling by the two Pakistan bowlers. And Misbah will be very happy. Won the toss, decided to bowl, expecting his bowlers to strike, and they've struck. Tries. And we are only into the sixth over. He's a class X, Rohit Sharma, full of talent potential. Got to convert that talent potential now into some substantial figures. You rock thing, another one bites the dust. This is an incredible spell from Pakistan and from Junaid Khan. What a find he has been, swinging them at over 140 kph. And there is stunned silence in the crowds it's an unbelievable beginning four down for 20 yuvra singh is shadow practicing the straight drive that he should have played and all of them bold he's looking to play across the line closing the face of the bat a little too early he's going through a terrific spell he'll go off the full face of the bat and play him through yuvra singh now practicing the right thing he's played straight he played across he's gone and then deep trouble 20 for four This is a sensational beginning by Pakistan. Four wickets down India. Suresh Raina is in. Very early in the piece. Six overs and look at the damage done by Pakistani Pacers. Junaid, three wickets for just six in three. Irfan, one for ten. It's turning out to be lethal opening. Gone for four. Loud cheer from the crowd. Enough moment. Look, just enough moment. Gone for four. Loud cheer from the crowd. It's 24 for four. Oh, 
past the outside edge. What a delivery this is. He's popped the ball back into the right hand. As uh, look at this delivery, he just pitches and oh, it's almost like a fast off break. Not much of movement as it passes the bat, but after that, look at the way it swung away. So 29 for four. You can see the crowd uh, stunned into silence. This is a sight they will never see again. So that's why when you get something of him, just uh, make the most of it. Don't be in a hurry to pass judgments. Because you will not see this again on a cricket field. You can see the crowd are seeing this and there's a sudden roar. It's not a boundary that's been hit. And they're seeing the master on the giant screen. Edged and taken brilliantly. This is magnificent from Pakistan. It's Mohammad Afiz. He's tied the way across to his right and pulled off an absolute gem. And this Indian innings now in disarray. They've lost their fifth wicket. Royal Sharma is waiting. But the first sight suggests it's absolute brilliance from Mohammad Afiz. And that was a smart move by the uh, Pakistani captain to have an extra slip in position. And that's because of the way the movement of the ball. They're again pushing hard at the ball, up in the air. Magnificent catch by uh, Pakistan's T20 captain. He's just a player in this team now. But look at that commitment. Marvellous catch. Great reflexes from Mohamed Afiz. Rohit Sharma out. It's 29 for 5. So 29 for 5 and the skipper comes out. He, he must have known he's uh, lost a big toss there. But wouldn't have expected to be batting inside the first 10 overs. So Tony, the man on strike. This is not a T20 game. This is a, a 50 over contest. And he's come out to bat inside 10 overs because uh, of some brilliance from Pakistan. Magnificent catch that. Good anticipation, good technique, going with both hands. And it's ticks in one.